Hello, I'm Richard Bogert, uh, president of Bogert Aviation, and I'm going to talk to you about three of the strut pumps that we make here at Bogert Aviation. There's the HX strut pump, which stands for hand-powered, the 15X strut pump, which is a 15 times multiplier, and then the big boy, the 30X pump, that's a 30 times multiplier. We're going to go ahead and start with giving you a little overview on each of the strut pump types, and, and then we'll go into a demonstration on each of the strut pumps. This is the HX strut pump. It was the first strut pump that Bogart Aviation made, and we've been making this pump for about 25 years now. Uh, over time, the, the pump has evolved a little bit, but basically works the same way. It looks very much like a bicycle tire pump, except that it's designed to work with an inlet air source. So you would connect this pump to an air source like a portable tank, uh, air tank. You could connect it to a 12-volt tire inflator to get your air pressure, or you could connect this to shop air in your hangar or, or your shop. So we apply air pressure to the pump through this hose uh, from multiple sources, and then it works but very much like a bicycle tire pump. You just pull the handle up, and push the handle down, the air that fills the cylinder is then compressed by hand and then it goes out the high pressure hose to the cylinder or to the strut or the propeller accumulator, whatever you need a high pressure source for. Um, a fairly big guy or a strong person can use this pump to deliver about a thousand PSI. And that's, that's more than enough for most light aircraft struts which only take five, 600 PSI. So it's very handy, it's very portable. And you can get by with a very small amount of air source. So it's a very good pump, but depending on what your needs are. Now, if you're going to be operating in a hangar, working on a multiple of aircraft or larger aircraft than one of the other strut pumps is probably better for you. This is the 15X strut pump. It's a 15 times multiplier. So basically whatever the inlet pressure is down at this end, whatever you're applying air pressure wise, you're gonna get 15 times that much pressure out the other end. It's very simple to operate. We have already connected the gooseneck fitting to our test gauge here. And we're gonna take the airline, your air source, just connect it to the pump. Very simple, just like any other air tool. And this is the slide valve. The slide valve, you're gonna operate manually. As you move the slide valve forward, you'll hear the pump take a stroke. It's compressed air in this upper cylinder and pushed it out through the gauge or through the hose to our test gauge or to the strut. Now, we're gonna take a series of strokes. As you can see, four strokes and we're up to 500 PSI. sitting at 1500 PSI right now. That didn't take very long. So if you had this hooked to a strut, as soon as the pressure in your hose or in the pump exceeds the pressure in the strut, then uh, that air pressure then starts transferring through the Schrader valve. So it's a very simple process. Okay, the newest strut pump from Bogart Aviation is the 30X strut pump became apparent that in some applications we need more than 1,500 PSI. And there are lots of applications where we might need 3,000 PSI and we use a nitrogen bottle to service accumulators or other things on jet aircraft. So in the bottle, the nitrogen bottle is depleted somewhat. They were having to exchange the bottles right away because they couldn't get the 3,000 PSI anymore. Well, the, the 30X strut pump solves that problem. What we can do is take a hose from a nitrogen tank and attach it to the 30X pump nitrogen adapter. And we apply up to 150 PSI uh, pressure of nitrogen here. And so then we use cheap shop air at the other end to drive the high pressure piston and compress the nitrogen. So if your nitrogen in the tank was down to 1,500 pounds and you needed 3,000 PSI for your application, you could use this strut pump to boost that. 
just 150 PSI on the inlet end. Otherwise, it works just like the 15X pump. Apply air pressure to, to the inlet end. The slide valve works the same way. Well, they were over 2,500 PSI. That didn't take us very long. And it gives us a way to use up basically all of the nitrogen that's in the nitrogen tank. You can just boost it with this for your application. Typically, we need a lot of pressure, but not necessarily a lot of volume. So this works really, really well. So the 15X strut pump, if you need 1,500 PSI, if you need 3,000 PSI, this is the one for you. All of our strut pumps are made with heavy gauge material. Now this is an example of the cylinder material that we use for the low pressure cylinder on these strut pumps. Uh, this is literally strong enough you could drive over it with a truck and not destroy it. So there are some other strut pumps on the market that are less expensive, but they're very thin walled uh, light gauge material that if you drop them, bang them against something, you're going to put a dent in it and make it useless. So uh, spend a little more and buy something that's going to last forever.